What if I can't? What did, can you craft the deck, the cards that you didn't earn? Because I didn't bother that's, earning the cards. Oh, um, that's gonna. I don't think you can. I think you had to have done the event. Oh no! Do did all you of not? your decks have uh, new new cards? No, just the first one. All right, uh, well, we can replace the card. Okay, but that's very sad. Because yeah, sorry. One of the five cards was really awesome. Well. Uh, it, Mom is calling, saying for shame, but you know, like, thank you. There, there was a I lot agree. of work to do that, and like, all it was was some uncommons that I'm going to get in a couple weeks anyway. Like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but they're fun to play with. The card in question was heraldic banner. Uh, we can substitute. It's it, interestingly enough, it may be a better version of uh, the red two casting cost um, Calvacalade enchantment. Okay um interesting all right well let's start so we're gonna start with that one it's the first one i posted start with that one. That's and i'm gonna put it on to stream decker as well let me load this it'll be just about one more literal minute here for me to get this properly put where i want it to be if it's possible can you bring up the card so um People can see the card in question. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me uh, let me start by importing that deck here, and then we can at least look on it on screen while I get it stream decked. It must be this one. That looks like it. And hello, arena. There we go. There we. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have the banner. And let's see. Can I can I cra craft all? No, you can't. All right, I just thought I'd check. Uh, if you don't mind bringing up the banner for a second, just so people can see it. Yeah. So let me. The what's so interesting about this card is, aside from it being any color, it really is Calvaclade for almost any deck with an upside. Um, so you think about it. Its net is its only two mana in cost, as long as you play it on turn three and have something to do with the mana left over. That's true. And that's not that hard in a deck that's full of one drops. And then, of course, it continues to produce mana, which is really nice in a deck full of one drops. It also has four drops, like Frenzies and, um, you know, the three one one elementals, which, of course, also benefit from it. So this card in the Elemental Aggro deck is super strong. Um, I was really impressed by it. Cool. Well, it's uh, what what? I, yeah, I ha I've been playing this deck without playing this, so we can certainly find a a uh, build to run. In. Put in, just sub out and put in Calvaclade and um, hope for the best. Would you uh, not run both in that situation? I don't think so. Um, it's, you know, four is about the right number. I'm, I mean, the neat thing is these things are additive, but eventually you run out. Mm -hmm. Um, in some ways, um, you know, icon of ancestry could work. Actually, that's probably a better, well, the problem is you don't get mana off of it. That's sort of the issue. That one extra mana to hurdle you to four, if you'll note, the deck only has 19 lands in it, is really pretty nice. Mm -hmm. But that is the other, op that is another similar option. Um, because it really is part of the mana base. Oh, um, am I in your way? Sorry about that. Uh, let me get out of your way. I also had chat covered up, so I was missing uh, helpful chats. Get out of my way. <laughs> There it is. That's so, what I was trying to do. Anyway, um, so the deck is still viable. Um, I don't quite consider I don't consider it the best deck, but it's always nice to get a feel for things. So if you don't mind mm -hmm. just playing a game with it, yeah, I mean, let's we're not to play a lot, but just give it a quick whirl so you can feel what the format feels like. Yeah, we're pretty familiar with this this type of deck, so we won't spend a lot of time on it, but yeah. um, it also doesn't take too too long to check out. It will be quick to check out. Uh,
And meanwhile, yeah, Banner and... Elementals is just really nice. I was pleased that one of the fr initial cards was really that good. I mean, no one would doubt that Calvaclade is a quality card, and having something immediately out of the gate that's equally good is pretty neat. So in my cavalcade decks, I've not run either of these two, and I go for the uh, for for hasty one drops. Um, but I'm I've been tempted by this just for the uh, scampering scorcher combo alone. You're late, spitter. Um, let's steam oh, kin. Oh yeah. Make him uh, make him kill it. Hey, Resonator, yeah, we we, we drafted extra long today because we were 5-0'd. Thankfully, it wasn't 5-1. <laughs> we got, didn't have to, one extra, uh, but now we got Jay on and we're doing some standard. Okay, let's see. Oh, I didn't draw a land. But you can still swing for two hasty. Drop out the hill, he's an elemental. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, let's just, I just want to do that next turn, though. Uh, do it the other way. You want to swing first. Okay. Maximize your damage. Or just have it shot. Or, or suck their shocks. Equally important. Sorry, I'm oh, good. stream decking this. Didn't recognize it or something. Huh. Don't forget to shoot their legion and drop out uh, one of your one drops. Okay, let's see where yeah yeah oh yeah gotta shoot that legion. Now stream decker is being weirdo on me. What are you doing? There we go. All right, second one's in. So you see a lot of red black in this one. Definitely uh, seeing a lot of I red was, black. I was a little surprised. Go ahead and trade. You want to, you're on the defensive. Uh, what are you trading with? Any of these, I guess? Yeah, the, one of the real ones, of course. I'm just doing what you say as I sit here trying to set up our next deck um, over here. Okay, playing no a land. Problem. Yep, bring um, out your war boss. Yeah, if they're out of removal, we could stabilize here. We might have to trade our war boss for theirs, though, if they attack. Mm -hmm. This is Oscuros. That's pretty big game. That is probably going to be game. The thing that's that, okay. It's funny. These are easy to drop out of. Yeah, my my uh, when I play war bosses, they eat a lightning bolt. Or they be, eat a shock every time, and when my oppo does it, even though I'm red, apparently I can't stop it. So, so it something that's interesting is the loss of um, the lightning bolt um, in this format, the two drop one. Um, really weakens the red deck. Mm -hmm. You really Hugely. feel it. Uh, it's tremendous. Um, go ahead and switch to the next deck. I mean, this you'll, you're going to see plenty yeah. of this deck. Um, what made the deck unique is a card you don't have anyway, so let's jump to the next one. Um, and the next one, if you don't mind bringing up, is 2020 Friends. Yes. The... We got it. Looks like I still have some crafting to do for it. Where is it? Here it is. Should be down there. And On the me... plus side, nothing you're crafting is go is rotating out. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, let me make this think... active though. Um, it may be part of the sideboard right. is irrelevant because we don't have enough meaningful artifacts, and there's a car in there. So I just threw in some redundant um, duplicates. But that looks like a real card in there. All right. Sideboard for Karn. Yeah, Got some stuff going on. 
mostly what you're getting is actually the mask of immolations of all things. Huh. I've found. Uh, it was kind of crazy. Anyway, um, this is a pretty much, um, I would say, not quite by the book, but certainly by my book, the one that I played uh, during the season. The main difference is a little bit of an adjustment on the removal, uh, plus also playing in a couple of uh, the Wanderers, which I think are absolutely critical. Um, that ability to prevent you from damage is insane. Um, I believe but anyway, um, this should be, you know, this is a nice, solid friends deck. Um, you did lose the big Teferi, um, the hero. Mm -hmm. So I put in a couple of Flood of Tears as sort of an experiment. Um, and otherwise, it's very much, you know, your Super Friends style deck. Um, also, the mana base was interesting. Hmm. Um, three this. of the colors lost their pain land. Um, as such, I right now I'm experimenting with subbing in a set of Evolving Wilds and some basics for it. Obviously, here you're getting blue. Mm-hmm. Uh... <clears throat> David Vero asks, uh, no proliferate or flux channeler type action in the Super Friends deck and no room for it? So there might be room. Uh, right now, um, generally I didn't because it wasn't necessary. It, you know, if you've got a position where you're able to um, use them, um, you, don't, you don't need them. They're win more. And, you know, we just want to win in this case. Um, somehow I didn't get that in the chat. Oh, there it is. Okay. But you could, so. It's... Yeah. Um, All right. Two toughness, three drops can be risky business in competitive construct. You just get blown out on the value proposition if it's removed. Since you're playing against control, you definitely want Sahili in there. Okay. Uh, if they don't have a counter, they're basically lost. They do have one, but... You made them have it. Yeah, you made them have it. There are no bad questions, only bad answers. I have home your prowess. Uh-oh. Uh, nothing to owe about. Now, interestingly, Karn lost a lot of the his value. Mm -hmm. um, he can no longer go to the sideboard and get spy glasses. Ah, right. That was a big, big, that was big a part of his game. Big part of his game plan. What do you like but, here? Are we playing Karn? Playing Narset? Playing anything? Oh yeah, we're definitely playing that. Um, Narset. It, where I, I was going. Uh, toss up. Karn or Narset, both are good. Actually, all three of the candidates are good. Mm, that's true. Makes that cost more. Almost like... They're, they're all... I mean, I'd go with Karn because I like hitting my curve exactly. But yeah, that's, that's a good tiebreaker. And also, it lets us go get something. Um, yep. So that if they, if they kill it... Stand down. Get a friend. Oh, uh, Actually, do you see what chat's saying? Um, what? They oh, say they Spyglass has been spoiled as in Eldraine. Excellent. Well, I can't wait. All right, so now um, you said uh, mask is what we f frequently get, but not children. here, right? Uh, you know, here you might want to get the mana. Lantern? Yeah, just grab a lantern. Uh, if you drop a land, you can um, drop a lantern and then a planeswalker, and if you don't, you really need it. Innovation knows no bounds. Shuffling me off. I will coil. return. Meditate and prepare. Hey, there we go. Mm -hmm. Are we just setting ourselves up though with this elder spell? How do we not so turn this into a disaster? So we don't turn this into a disaster if they don't have one, but you also have a 
Elder Spell's gone down a lot in popularity now that you can't go ultimate on Big Teferi. Maybe, but it's pretty popular in Oppo's hand right now. <laughs> uh, that is true. <laughs> well, you do have Flood. Is that instant? No, Sorcery. Um, no, it's not. But, but you're going to have back. to draw it out. Go fetch another... Um, fetch something. Fetch a, uh, fetch oh, yeah. a mask. I, will I like it. Or actually another fetch friend. another... Another <laughs> lantern? You could fetch another lantern if you wanted. Just get the manas. I'm going to do that. Pack your bag. I had guild business to attend to anyway. You show remorse, I'll show restraint. Don't forget, you can swing with your lanterns. Yep, yep. Um, make me wonder. There goes nothing. Now... Are we trying to, are we going to flood so that we don't get overwhelmed by their existing walkers? Or are we really looking to uh, do this when we have uh, four or more non-tokens? I would rather, I think you'd rather do it with four or more. Um, I, it'd be interesting to see what they do if you just try and beat them down with a lantern for a second. Just take that, hit a flames walker. Oh yeah, who do we not like? Who do you want to take down? Probably one of the ones we can actually kill. Yeah, kill one. Mm, all right, Teferi. Only time will tell. This out. Uh, we can enter that tapped. And... You know, I would hold, since they have the Elder Spell. We know they have it. I mean, yeah, they, like the... There's something to be... Well, okay, if we play this, they probably just run out the Elder Spell. Mm -hmm. uh, if we don't... Or you play this, and they might run out the Elder Spell, and then this is better. Like, what is Dovin right. even doing in this matchup? Uh, uh, Dovin is usually just land destruction, but I think right. they're going to be really afraid of you breaking your Karn on the next turn and dropping out the six-drop artifact or similar. Mm -hmm. That's true. Or actually, you know, you could get the you um, could get the three three destroy a planeswalker uh, meteor golem. Mm -hmm. So I think they're going to have to go for it right here. I think you've okay. gotten enough to draw it. I will follow your lead. Let's. I mean, I may be wrong, but I think I'm. I, th I think it's reasonable. It's pretty dangerous that. for them to leave it. That's for sure. It is. At a minimal, you can always just punch him again with your artifacts. Let's slow this down. Lanterns of beat down. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yep. I will Guessed it right. Good call, Jay. Good well, that's what I'm here for. This doesn't do anything for us. Mm -hmm. um, we could go Lantern Narset and try to flood with four. I think Lantern Narset's a good start. Or we could have Narseted Lantern. It doesn't didn't matter. We could have seen what we draw first, but. <clears throat> Or excuse me, we should see what we're going to put into our hand first, since obviously we can't draw extra cards. I was so proud of myself. The other day, playing in this in this format, um, I had a card draw spell, and my opponent had Narset out, and I didn't play my card draw spell. I won't forget. Don't ask me Very anything. Very nice. I was. I felt like a genius. I'm like. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, well at least we know how they want to kill us. Let's try this. This <laughs> such violence. We if we draw land, we do have no we won't have four. We would have uh, uh We have yeah, we only have three. Feel the pain of every outcast thing. Now I wanna Elder Spell. All right, is there any way out of this? I feel like we're... Uh, you have a rain in the hands. Right. So make sure to tap the two artifacts. So this means you can play your um, hand mm. of command first, and it'll be, they're going to have a slow going to get back into place. Sure. But it's instant and sorcery, so they can still play all that stuff. But yeah, it's... it's all right. Uh, actually, it's not Planeswalkers. You're right. Um, but you can put down the other one as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that one, I believe, drops out a uh, 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Make a flyer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that got my blood pumping. Well, I gave him a lot of uh, refreshed planeswalkers. Let's see what they do with it. Results are an anomaly, not to be repeated. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, I think they've just got too like much. It. You're not going to pull through. Yeah, the cards we have left don't do anything here. All right, yeah, I'm going to give this one up. Do you want to play this one one more time or mm -hmm. go into the... Okay. Let's do this one more time. I want to... See a different. I want to play it till we see a non Super Friends matchup. I want to see it against a different deck. So if we face uh, Super Friends or, or an obvious Planeswalker type deck again, I'm just going to scoop out of it. That was actually what the Esper Control deck looks like these days. Mm -hmm. Well, like, like I want to see this against um, the Mono Red or mm -hmm. something aggro. Um, you'll find there's the mono red, the red black, and the elementals in the aggro food groups. Um, I'm not a big fan of that Esper build we're looking at because it really does have a problem with defense against all three of the creature decks. Mm -hmm. And and I haven't tried it yet, but I suspect the mono green will also beat it. I think we'll keep this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's got good. some play against different types of decks. Mm hmm. Interestingly, you probably would have won that one had your Sahili resolved. Right. Um, which is kind of crazy for that to be the determining factor. Um, oh, we're getting birds. Uh, weird birds. Yeah, that's a weird, <laughs> weird birds uh, for sure. I usually don't see that bird. No, but this uh, uh, this is looking good. <laughs> okay, so this is the fairies variant, I'm sure. There's a new fairy that's in here, which. Um, is a 1-2 flash uh, gets a plus 1 uh, when you draw your second card in time uh, just really know that it's a, another flash fairy um, in this case you do have enough to wrath considering what's in your hand exactly I was going to say that I think uh, you can get greedy Don't against decks greedy. like this sometimes uh, if you only had one deafening clarion then maybe you want to try and eke out some more value, but we have multiple sweepers. We have three sweepers in hand against this type of deck, so we're going to happily... Um... Make sure to click the right one. Yeah. You can do both, though, right? Uh, you can. Let's do both. My non-existent creatures have lifelink. Sadly, um, in this fight, I believe you're... Well, do they have anything? Oh, so this is why you want... Of uh, that crazy wanderer. Oh, sure. Uh, <laughs> but we do have uh, damage itself, so that'll work. Oh, sure. Eventually. Actually, right now, you have to play. You've got a tap land that you have to yeah. play. Um, and I would probably put out a chump. But, well, you know, Sahili has enough to take a punch from that. It's true. So let's just do that. Let him uh, yeah. come Let him at punch me, bro. The heel. What Oppo does. Well, I'm going to take 
the bottom stuff. Uh, we'll do. Downside, Sahili isn't the dominant card that it is in many fights, but that is what it is. Oh, Silver Blaze is going to be great. Should have sent a poet. So yeah. Solar Blaze is amazingly underplayed. Now, if you had the Wanderer out, you would have kept your token. Yeah. And if they hadn't played anything, we could have just gone with the Wanderer, but I thought it was sure. pretty straightforward there to do that. Let's, we could... Mm, I mm. think you want to use the Bounce ability. I would play the other one. Play the, yeah. Dovin. Dovin and get a 1-1 one, one flyer out mm -hmm. and 1-1 one, one ground pounder. And then you can use you Dovin's plus and ability and it becomes all kinds of good. Use actually you probably want to use the minus first for a turn, but one more turn, and then you flip onto the plus. Sure. Do that. <clears throat> I stand on the shoulders Free bacon. of giants. I hope they're joking about a Teferi cycle, given the last couple. <laughs> Maybe they'll make them bad this time. I think that um, the you know the smaller Teferi is probably the single strongest card in the entire format. Agreed. I, the I floor wish on this dude is just so crazy. Uh, it's yeah, uh, it's just. All right, cool. Well, we, you did see what it, what it does to a creature. Tag. Yeah, that, I mean, it, it was didn't horrible. look like it was much of a contest, but we just we played two sweepers, and that was all for the creature deck. So you played as two designed. of the three sweepers. Yeah, of you the had three in your hand, and uh, two more removal cards. Well, unfortunately, I can't. I can't switch deck. Oh, can I? Maybe no, switch. We, just play, we, I'll play one more with it. Okay. We can't switch decks though, if we wanted. But I'll do one. They're short. they're relatively short. They'd be a one, and people tend to drop because there's very little penalty in dropping from the first game. Besides, think, we have to get experience points somehow, right? Yeah, yeah. I think the planeswalker cycles are interesting, and the Chandra one worked out and really helped identify. This is the hero of this set. You know, this is the poster child at the very least of the set drives that home so if they found that successful of course they never know they design whatever's coming but before they even knew whether this set was going to be successful but i think it seems like it's worked out this looks good mm -hmm. yeah. um who is director lady i don't actually watch uh mark's uh broadcast uh do you mean was it elaine chase I don't know. I haven't watched. Elaine's not Brock. like marketing director anymore, though, is she? No, I, I don't she's know. way too. She's yeah. way too high. Way too high up to like be doing yeah, videos. Yeah, to be doing that. Does anyone know who on the channel know who it is who was there with who's on with uh, Mark? Hmm, my mic's uh, going out of phase. Does this mean I, my, I'm not matching up sound-wise? We've tweaked that before. Hmm. Oh, it does look out of phase. It's just your sound and your visuals are out. Uh, hmm, this but is... Others are saying it's about mono sound sometime. I don't know. It's all weird. 
All weird. Okay, what's going on here though? Oh, we're gonna solar blaze again for great value. Or clarion now. Just clarion? I'm just gonna what? clarion. Yeah, sure. Uh, they, they have a man Yeah, out. they get some, they, they get a couple cards too with the Midnight Reaper, but I like That's this. Fine. Especially with the they're, other one at the ready. Yeah, they're going to be really unhappy with the Wanderer again. I do think that's the most undervalued card in maybe the format. Losing the Certainly left the channel. most undervalued Planeswalker. <laughs> oh, tech. Well, sorry for the mono sound. Um, does... Don't turn that thing off. Prevent all damn. Uh, yeah. But what? What's the trigger? Um. It's it's doing the damage. It's doing the damage, and what's so, the other ability on it? Uh, draw. I mean, you can draw a card and lose a life, but you. Yeah. Yeah. You might want to put Dove and out there and see if you can draw an extra creature from them. Okay. That's one of the reasons for having a Dove in, in here. It's acting sort of like an icy manipulator back in the old mind. days. Right. What you gonna do? It forces them to overcommit. Your defects don't seem to bother you. Ooh, let's see. This is exile, right? Great. Mm -hmm. That's pretty important. And you can keep the game going. Yeah. And really, the game just goes into the draw Sarkin and kill them at this point. I speak softly, but I carry a big sword. I must work the bigger they are. Well, you know. Oh, pretty good. Oppo didn't even read the card. Yeah. Perhaps a pair of stilts. Hey, Lily. Oh, that's it. Undead make great minions. Don't forget to play uh, Nissa first. Uh, 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 Nars at first. Yes. Sorry, Nars at first. Well, does that does anything change? It keeps them from drawing cards when mm, you're back. Sure. All right, we'll do this. I train every day. No one can make it. I have just the trick for this. Whiff. <clears throat> I'll do this, and if they want to send the uh, attacks. zombie Unfest. somewhere, they get one of our friends reduced. Nitrid, but effective. Yeah, they're done with Dovin. Mm -hmm. Had it with that guy. This is a rare occasion. I'm not often wrong. The Dovin voice sounds like the uh, the guy from Flight of the Concords to me. I keep expecting him to sing that song from Wana. Interesting. I concede. Trophying what? Choice. What did they go? Uh, I was looking at chat. Oh, they went for um, Narset. Easy. Mm hmm. Easy to go for a uh, land. Yeah, yeah. More blue seems good. Mm hmm. Very laggy these days on Arena. Maybe I'm doing a bunch of different things here, but very laggy. And unfortunately, we can't stop all that beautiful card draw now. No, you can't. On the other hand, they're going to take a bunch of damage. Mm hmm And what yeah. do we have? We have uh, seven mana. We can do Solar Blaze plus Teferi. we got to watch Please. out for uh, Lily on the uh, potential ultimate. Maybe we need to Kazmina and make a creature to actually try and press Lily. Um, or Karn to get a 1-1 one, one, mm. uh, that you can throw at them. 
Well, let's do the two, two, let's, uh, but then we won't have the blaze, right? So we only have seven is the problem. So right. if we want to solar blaze this turn. <sighs> um, what about Teferi bounce a token Kazmina loot? Sure. I probably wanted to carry first, but got the land? Discard the land? Yeah. I was thinking we wanted to loot first, but it's making decisions in, under the rope. Teferi just shuts them off, being... I was thinking about Teferi, and... Um, I think the strongest deck of all time in just pure power level was Turbo Abeyance. Turbo Abeyance, yeah. Yeah, and Teferi is just this basically an Abeyance of a sort. I don't uh, get to bounce. Yeah. Sorry, I was just looking at chat. Uh, just a token, or do we want to send him back an actual creature? Make him recast something. I'd set him back a token. Make him think like you're afraid of them. All right. I've got Bluff here. Another blaze. Yeah, Abeyance was a messed up card. When it first came out, even more disciples. All right, Rise that hurt, but uh, I think the real problem is that Lily's about to leave us with a single land, right? And that's we... awfully tough. Although we can, ah, oh, close. I guess we mm -hmm. get Blaze into Fairy. But I'm afraid that's not enough. You can't ferry. Right. There's nothing we can do to, like, yes, we get to ferry in a land, but it can't can't really quite do anything with to ferry in a land. I think you're right, Apple Juice, but I also want to see how the deck plays and what cards are in it, how they draw. Yeah, as you were gonna, you were shooting for a Sarkin, and it didn't draw. Yeah, we didn't find Sarkin in time. All right. So the you next one is the one you're going to win two and out with. All right. It's the strongest of the three. And I think maybe the dominating deck in the format. It can get underrun, but it is extremely strong. Um, it's basically scapeless skate. Um, I call skate it shiftless. Shift. Shiftless, yes. So you talk it out, and I will right, get so, it plugged into Stream Decker. All right. So basically, um, it has all the goodness. Of, that's a very different shiftless. That's not the one that I think you grabbed a different one. Oh, this is this mine? I might have grabbed somebody that else's. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Uh, um, unless I, I want to make sure. I oh, maybe I didn't import it yet, and it was just sitting there. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I, I put it J's in front of it. That's my problem. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, got I gotta do this from scratch. I'm on it. All right. Well, anyway, um, so this is a. If you looked at some of the old elemental builds, this is an elemental build crossed with elements of escape shift deck, and it basically looks like it's going to beat you with elementals, or it's going to beat you with zombies, and it doesn't really care which one it's doing. Um, it's not, you know, it's not scape shift. It's not elementals. It's sort of a weird hybrid, but it has incredible card power. And I mean, it doesn't tutor out its fields other than with the green elemental, um, Cavalier of Thorns. And it just sort of keeps plugging away with card power to put out a kajillion land. Yeah, that was the uh, thing about the scapeshift deck. It you often won without a scapeshift. 
Yeah, and this does that. It's just sort of, you play it like an elemental deck, and oh yeah, you swing with eight to ten zombies every turn, too. And if they wrath them, that's okay. Uh, there's more. Uh, yeah, there is. Um, there's, um, this one is... So it's now on Stream Decker, so you can uh, exclamation point deck it, and that'll do it. But also... Um, absolutely, the... David. Um, the thing about the, uh, putting Neoform in this deck, and you know, certainly some of the earlier ones um, did have it, is it adds a little bit of instability more than anything else. Um, it is not a wrong card to play by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I felt like the deck was so strong, I didn't need the instability of having Neoform, which occasionally will be dead draws or you'll get a weird thing that doesn't have enough creatures in your hand. Because remember, you're playing 29 lands in this deck. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I don't think oh. it's wrong. And if you wanted to make the argument the right number is to have one of them, you might be exactly right. Um, because having a fifth is better than having four for uh, Reef. You know, so this may be the crazy thing that one Neoform is right or two are correct or something like that. Uh, you know, remember, this is a deck I've been playing for all of a week. Um, and less than that. I started halfway through the week developing these. Uh, as long as you've got uh, green, you're good, and if you've got blue-green, you're even better. The mana base was the hard part about this deck. Um, could I recommend playing the mirror and being a better player? Um, Field of Ruin still works because the good board things are all gone against us. Uh, are you wondering whether to put that on top? Um, yeah, I think you keep it. You can play it on the next turn as your two drop. Um, I do want to comment something about the land. Um, did I get muted? No, me. I, I have a oh. sticky mute button, and so I click it, and then it either doesn't unmute or doesn't mute, and creates lots of comedy for everybody to enjoy. Drop your two drop out here. Sometimes you would keep it, but they're a rush deck, and also the fact that uh, you've got plenty of elemental power here. Mm -hmm. um, I want to comment on that plaza in your hand. Mm -hmm. um, this deck is running a very interesting mana base. This was the hard part of this deck. Um, it has two plazas, and you try and grind six life out of them. It's not all that hard, given the amount of lands you play mm -hmm. and the fact you have two of each of the gates. So getting two gates onto the board beforehand is really great if you can do it. It's also handy that we got um, three man on the board right now so that you can play your field, so you can play your reef and not have to play the plaza. Yeah. Find our, find our life out of this. Exactly. Oh, that's a pretty good card, too. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's land-based. Number elementals. Uh, okay, so right now it's dealing uh, three that Pride Mate is getting out of hand. Uh, you're going to be chump locking it soon. Probably, and that's okay. Not yet, though. Not yet. I mean, remember, next turn you're going to get crazy card advantage. <clears throat> All right, so we like uh, Omnath ETB tapped land. Uh, we can play Harmony to play the Cavalier right now. Um, That's kind of crazy, too. Um, then it ramps us for the turn after. This still gets really big, though. And we, I almost want to put out a reef so we can chump with a reef. Does that make sense? I think, it, yes, it does, actually. Let's see, what, um, let's see what we get out of this. What you get out of it? I mean, you've got the double draw, chump with a reef, so you can play the other one. To... All right. That and, was nice. Uh, we need two mana. We could... Uh, no, this doesn't do anything. We what can only you get green. Need, oh, 
We don't we don't have anything we can cast if we play this because we have right. uh, no so gates. No, just play the half land. Yeah, just making sure. Yeah, half land is good, and you got a life and don't. I, I'm, gonna attack. Sure I'm only gonna jump Might one. as well. Get in there, reef. This is a very prideful lion. Mm -hmm. Well, still don't even need to chump yet if we don't want to. It's going to get to nine, but they, well, this is any target. I guess we're low enough that maybe we need to start. It's a tar I might hold it here, but I'm greedy. All right. Well, uh, you know, I am but... too. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll we'll take the green. Greedy. Oh, we just might yeah. lose to. I was miscounting when you said nine. I, I was thinking that it, anyway. That's fine. We just have to gain life. Mm hmm. How do we do that? All here? right. Play oh. reef number one. All right. Do reef number one. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look. Chumps. You get it clear? Uh, oh, if we right. play the island, oh yeah, it counts. It'll do it. I was thinking it was not a unique land, but we didn't need more uniques. We had our we had our threshold met, and now we've got four damage. Don't forget to your thunder kim. Should we do those? You want to do thunder? Kim? Oh yeah, and then uh, oh we didn't have Fun. mana for uh, omnath anyway. Oh we do. We have leafkin druid. That that was my only thinking, but now we have the uh, now we have the train rolling. Right, the train is rolling at this point. Now our deck's um, out of control. Assuming you don't just die because we were yeah, greedy. Yeah, because we were two. Um, oh, don't forget, you've got another uh, reef in there. Yep. Uh, you pretty clearly should crush them no matter anything else here. Yeah, either uh, we lose got, to, the, both to being a two or we kind of get there. And next turn you'll be able to get um, a bunch of life. Uh, we can attack and bring that reef back. I like it. Absolutely. Nothing like being at a point where you have to discard cards. <laughs> all of them. All the reefs. I have decked myself before by being sloppy in one of my games. Oh, and we got three life. <laughs> this is silly. If I would discard circuitous routes. You don't need them here. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're good <laughs> on that front. Who needs scape shift? You just need four risen reefs. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Prison realm that's, is that's shutting good. the barn door. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to do it. You can play two Cavaliers and get... Um, this is life. Yeah. Can't believe they I haven't... Was, I was thinking you eat your Field of the Deads first. Oh, sure. I'm just playing a little quick. Sure. Drop a Cavalier, get a Field. We hope. Oh, uh, yeah. No field, but no field. still some. All right, that was enough for Oppo. <laughs> yeah, that's the way most of the games go. Yeah, um, you, you've never actually reduced anybody's life total to, total to zero, have you? Uh, actually, minus fifty. Minus fifty. Okay, some people are into that. All right, let's, yeah, let's do this again. So that's the best of the decks. Eduardo should. says, "I feel like the Field of the Dead and Land Ramp is overkill. I like a more focused deck with neoforms and elementals and copy effects to go for Omnath kills." So, Eduardo, I've played a lot of the deck that you're describing. Um, they lose to this one. 
Uh, it doesn't mean the other deck isn't very good because it is. Right. Still might be uh, have a place in the meta or whatever, but right. Yeah, it's just that um, this deck beats that deck because it's hitting on both angles. Is this a keep? Uh, this isn't casting. This isn't uh, making colored mana yet, but this gives us both sides of the reef such that we get either one or the other and we can start going off. We don't have any uh, red I hate, yet. I hate mulliganing, so that's why I probably would, but it's probably also... <laughs> I was just waiting for you to give me an excuse, because now I can blame it all on you. I was going to mulligan, but, you know... Oh, man, that's rough. That's a... Scry 3 at the beginning of your upkeep is very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Uh, that works. We'll start with this one. If you have the choice, play the one that must enter tapped as as opposed to the one that can. Everything's coming up oppo with uh, turn one, turn two, miscreant. Who does that? That's the first time that's ever happened in the history and of magic. you have no two drops. Well, we have these. Uh, no, that's... Yeah, no, we... Well, sure. I mean, if we want to take damage... You don't want to take damage here? Oh, I wouldn't take damage for it. Um, yeah, I yeah, guess it's not doing anything. It doesn't do anything except for hit them for one. Um, when you hit Oppo, they're going to know it. Kind of like these reefs going, and then when they kill them, then we get them back, right? Exactly. There's no I constantly seek to innovate. Hmm. Well, they can't minus next turn, so that's not a worry for next turn. We can still take our uh, reef turn here, I think. Or we could put Cloudkin to uh, make him worry about that a little bit. I kind of like getting this going. Reef. Get the engine Always got to be the reef, right? What you're doing is uh, more important than what they're doing. I hate to say you're playing solitaire, but you kind of are in this match. Um. It doesn't They're work that way because in, or, in order to get the effect of adding more loyalty via attack, they have to have used Dovin for the turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, these two decks don't actually interact with each other very this much. No They're swinging in the air, you're swinging on the ground, and when you swing, you're going to swing with overwhelming force. So it's whoever gets there first. Oh, hey, you got something interactive. Yeah. I don't forget that guy has reach. The Cavalier. Yep. Um, well, is this going to be... How bad is this? Look at the top ten cards of your library. Put three of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom. Okay, so they draw three. It's a, it's an excellent draw three. It's an excellent draw three. Before we go there, though, um, do you have both, Do you have two lands that can come into play untapped? Uh, and... Well, they, they tap for colorless They're currently. They're colorless right now. Um, we don't... And that won't solve our problem. Yeah. Um, I think you have to double reef and hope. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking we reef again, but worth checking. Yeah, well, whether you could use the um, growth spiral. All the reefs all the time. Uh, and then I guess we play one of these. You still drop it. And Attack. You want to offer that? Get... Yeah, I, I go for the... Well, the trouble is they can just take it. Well, I guess uh, that doesn't, doesn't that put them at lethal level where they at least die? If they go ultimate? No, they're at nine and it's a minus oh, seven. That's the seven. I would still swing anyway. I bet they block. No, no, no. I does I, to me like I'd rather go for their face anyway because th this isn't gonna. They have the nine. Oh, oh sure, I meant that they were more likely to block of if you went for the planeswalker. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. Protect the planeswalker, we get the block. Right. Okay. Uh, because you really want it dead. Um, that way you can bring it back and trigger it again. Well, this is the deck that I have seen probably the most of actually in this queue is is some form of blue white skies, and it mm -hmm. is a good kind of plus fifty percent solid... plays quickly type deck. Right. Uh, now we probably need the Cavalier to guard the air, though. Although we don't um, have green, we don't have three green yet. So, well, you do have a growth spiral. You also have 
If we spiral, uh, we can't thorns. And I was hoping to, but I, well, I guess that's just the have, way it is. Yeah, I just think you have, have to it. spiral first. Well, we can spiral, but I just don't, we can't end up on the thorns in this evolving wilds. Isn't even really land. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, this. You put the guild gate in. Put the gate down, and then we're going to play the, pl I don't do that yet. If we're going to reef again. No, we can't reef again. Um. So what are we even doing? I guess we put this out yeah, and play, play a that. seer. Um, At least I, it blocks in the air. Yeah, seer and it blocks in the air. And it might drop out some more lands for you. That's, that's good. not a land, but that's really good. Yeah. And that's a nice piece of action. This might pull you out. Might. Let's do this before I forget. Uh, although, let's see. Need to get a not forest if we want to trigger that. So I'm going to get a mountain. Sure. Yeah, Rally of Wings we can't beat. So if they've got it, tip the hat and get on with our Friday afternoon. That's pretty close. Pretty close, but we do get to wipe them all shortly. Uh, except for this. All except there it is. Oh, there's the Rally. As I said, couldn't beat it. And Rally is uh, Rally plus Aperian Eagle. Like you'll hear, you hear pros talk about needing, like let's say you want to do some build around thing. It's really tough to build around four copies of a card. It's just not super consistent. But once you get two copies of a thing to build around, then it becomes more reliable. I think that's why you see something like there's Feather, of course, and then you also have the uncommon Boros Feather-like creature, because then you have eight things, you know? So anyway, and I just feel like uh, uh, Rally plus Eagle gives the Blue-White Skies deck the eight copies Enough. of the eight copies of the absurd thing. And there's even the um, Flyers get plus one, plus one that people don't even really play in that anymore, because it's just, it, it's the third string uh buff your flyers card actually so oh yeah favorable wins rotated out that's why we're not seeing it but uh, uh the the rally plus eagle is good enough well that was cool we didn't quite get the two wins there but that is That's probably going to be the deck here. i have a lot of fun with i did like uh, uh i forget who suggested it but once we established that uh you can change your decks midstream. I do like if you're if you're on a time budget but are trying to get in uh two wins on here, I kind of like starting with a uh, starting with an elemental type build until you get that first win, and then maybe uh, taking something a little more powerful after you get the first fast win in. Eh, it's a thought. It's a way. It's a way you can approach no, it. No, anyway. it's not a bad thought. And you know, certainly if you have the heralds, put them in. They really are fantastic. I yeah. think you're going to see a lot of herald in the future. Well, Jay, thank you so much for taking the time. I love My that you uh, give always. us that time every week or the weeks that you can. Um, and uh, three decks this time. Something for, and I really love that they were 2020 decks. That's kind of p where people's heads are at. Something to start for. Something maybe to to craft up for yourself and get working on for the next standard season. Uh, Absolutely. <clears throat> um, and I'm actually playing a lot with Esper Hero right now. I found a little piece of tech that I'll hopefully be able to show you all next week. Cool. Looking forward to that. I'm going to look for a uh, someone to raid as we say goodbye to Jay. Thanks again, Thanks again, Jay. We'll see you next Catch time. Catch you later. Bye, everybody. Uh, let's see. We'll send it back to... I haven't raided Huey in a while. Let's raid Huey. It has been a great week. Thank you so much for playing Magic with me. I will try to get some more cool stuff going this weekend, maybe try to understand channel points or whatever that stuff is. But uh, have a fantastic weekend. I will be back again on Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific, and I hope to see you here for that. Thanks, YouTubers, and Woo! long stream. We did it. It was fun. <laughs>